kitchen smells marvellous because we've got grated lemon rind. Oh, it's so aromatic. And of course, we're making lemon drizzle cake. Let's get going. We're doing a very large glitter tin with 22 eggs. That's the size of our baking tins. And we have two of them, 22 eggs, <laughs> probably more than you'll need. So for any sponge cake, chocolate, lemon, vanilla, anything, fat, margarine or butter, creamed up with sugar, and we do this in a heavy duty machine, gradually adding in eggs. And then when that's done, self-raising flour, that's flour with raising agents in. And because this one's lemon drizzle, we'll be adding that as well and adding lemon juice to the finished result. But this is the recipe for any sponge cake. If you can think in terms of ounces, old fashioned, it's six, six, six and three, six ounces of fat. We're doing much more, six ounces of sugar, three you halve the amount for the eggs and six ounces of flour if you want to do bigger more cakes ten ounces of fat ten ounces five ten we're doing 44 <laughs> 44 ounces 22 eggs 44 ounces <laughs> because it's easy to remember that way. I shall never go metric on this. <laughs> Grams don't work out in the same memorable way. Anyway, we're going to whiz this up and get going. That's what it looks like at the halfway point. Much creamier and looser, and a bunch of the eggs are in. Nice. Now we're at the three quarters stage. Now, sponge cake has a bad habit of trying to curdle while you make it, but don't let that worry you because you add a spoonful of flour and it comes back to goodness again. So we're getting through the eggs. <laughs> we'll add that in a moment and it's getting creamier and fluffier. Lemon zest in. Flour will be last with a dash of hot water. But remember to fold it in or do it on the lowest machine setting with the flour. Just be gentle. <laughs> Time to put it in the tins. Roger's helping me because the container's really heavy. <laughs> so we guess how much for the first tin, but we'll level them up later. You might only be using one round or two round um, sandwich tins, they're called cake tins, not great whoppers like this. And then with lemon drizzle cake, after it's cooked, you, you pierce it with cocktail sticks and soak it with sugary lemon. But Roger, how long do you think this will take in the oven? 40 to 50. Right, on a medium hot oven? Medium, yeah. Yes. But for cupcake, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Same mixture. This is so versatile. Once you can master a sponge cake, you can do anything. Thank you, Roger. We'll come back and see what these look like when they're cooked. So they're cooked and out of the oven. And one of the signs a sponge is cooked is that it comes away from the edge a little bit. And of course it doesn't sink. And what Roger's doing is cocktail stick dabbing. We're making little holes. <laughs> and it's literally going to be a sponge cake. Ooh, well done. Because a lemon... Boring, 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 <laughs> and you've got another whole sponge to do as well. Smells lovely. Slightly lemony as well. And what this is, is caster sugar. Golden bran. Golden granulated with lemon juice. And that, when it's swelled around enough, the, the, the juice and the sugar combine. <gasps> On it goes. Now you'd think this would make a sponge go soggy, but it actually doesn't. What happens is it crystallises on the top and you get a crunch. So this is a very lemony, sugary syrup which will turn to a crunch and soak into the sponge and just add to the flavour and texture and taste. And this is one of the most popular cakes. In my survey, the top ones include lemon drizzle cake, Victoria sponge cake, coffee and walnut and carrot cake. I don't mind any of those myself. Thanks. And drum roll, please. <laughs> Lemon drizzle cake. 
ready to have with a cup of tea. And we split ours and add lemon curd, our own company's lemon curd going through the middle. So it's got lemony on all the way through, lemony crusty sugary on top and lemon curd there. <gasps> <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Thumbs up.